Hello and welcome to Mystic Visions. This is a reading for Aries in the month of January. And if you are not an Aries, please look on my channel to find the reading for your particular sign. Now this is a general reading meant to apply more broadly across the entire month. And if you are looking for something more specific, you can check out my daily readings. Uh, in this reading, we'll be using my adaptation of the Celtic Cross, and I'll explain the meaning of each card as I draw them. Um, please leave me a message in the comments if you have any questions or if you'd like some clarification. I would be happy to draw a few additional cards for anyone who has subscribed to my channel, so please ask in the comments if that's something that you would like. And so let's go ahead and get started with this monthly reading for Aries. So Aries, this is your situation. This is what's crossing you. This is what you're moving away from. This is what you're moving toward. This is the foundation of the situation, your crowning thoughts. This is your advice, your environment, your fears, and your overall message. Okay, so your current situation is this King of Coins in the reverse. So this guy, King of Coins, is typically a very uh, effective investor. He's a person who's able to uh, manage his finances very well and that kind of thing. And you have this potential, but there's a little bit of a resistance that's going on here uh, where you're putting something else a little bit first before your prudence uh, in the situation. So there's a little bit possibly of reckless spending or uh, there could be a need for you to, uh, or, or, or more generally, if it's not reckless spending, it's definitely that finances are, are not working exactly the way that they normally would. There could be external circumstances that are to blame instead of just your own reckless spending or something like that, but reckless spending definitely would cause this, right? So they're in one way or another, either you have more going out than normal or there's less coming in than normal. Um, so that's the kind of situation that you're you've run into here where you've been thrown off a little bit by that. Normally you're probably better at it. You're, you're better at uh, managing those finances. Uh, crossing you is this two of cups. Um, this is typically a really harmonious balance. Um, it can represent like a good relationship. Uh, but crossing you means that, you know, of course this thing has probably been thrown out of balance in some sort of a way, or uh, more generally, it could be that, your need to sustain this sort of balance and relationship is what's kind of causing you some stress or some hardship here and that you're feeling like you need to devote more energy into that to sort of balance the equation and it's kind of taking a toll on you. You're moving away from this three of cups and three of cups very friendly in, in um Fellowship, you know, this is hanging out with your friends and having this abundance and this feeling of, of great joy that comes uh, with being around people who are like you or that you or that you like, right? So you're moving away from that energy, meaning um, you're having to spend a little bit more time on your own. There's a little bit less to go around. You're having to tighten the belt a little bit and... Uh, you know, and, and or possibly it's just you've been feeling a little bit more isolated and not uh, hanging out with your friends like you used to. Maybe the bars that you used to go to are closed down right now or something like that. But in one way or another, there is just this lack of fellowship or, um, you know, and it, it may not be something that you're feeling in a negative way. You may be happy that you're getting to spend a little bit more alone time. Uh, you're feeling less pressure to socialize and all that kind of thing. But it's just this is something that you're moving away from. So what you're moving toward here is this Page of Swords in the reverse. Page of Swords is, uh, you know, there, so you're trying to be a little bit more cautious. You're trying to be a little bit more... Um, less likely to just jump in and do things to kind of uh, go with the heat of the moment and, and jump in and have this more rash decision-making style. 
it, it's a, a, a place of a little bit more prudence, uh, but it also is a little bit more closed off to fun and adventure and things like that. So, you know, there's a, there's a balance to be had, but, you know, sometimes we go through tough challenges, uh, trying times, and it's, it's kind of uh, whatever the situation calls for changes from from day to day or from month to month in this case and so there's a a need i think that you're you know having this king of coins this very savvy uh financial energy you're aware that some some changes need to be made and you're moving toward a little bit more of that that prudent energy that's not as freely spending and uh has a little more caution now uh the only warning that I would give there is um, don't don't be too cautious you know if the situation has changed um, the situation will also there's like a homeostasis that occurs so the situation will uh, come back to normal in some way so don't lock down like an entire aspect of your life and change things too much uh, because that's when you do throw things out of balance you had a good energy going on here before this thing kind of started to go out of balance and so um, whatever your strategy was before it was effective and it was good so you don't want to completely throw that strategy away but you want to adapt it to the circumstances meaning um, you know maybe you used to go out to the bar and spend like eighty dollars to hang out with your friends in this case maybe find a way to just hang out with your friends, uh, you know, virtually or playing a video game or, you know, something like that. Find a way to adapt your strategy, but not to completely throw it all the way, throw it out all the way. You know what I mean? Because uh, there's more than just the financial aspect here. There was an element of harmony uh, where the financial aspect was working well with the other aspects of your life. And that's really what you want to hang on to here. So just adapt to the circumstance. Excuse me. <laughs> so uh, the foundation of the situation here is this death card. Um, foundation kind of represents what is the frame uh, of, of this whole scenario? What, what's leading? What's the, the core lesson that's to be learned here? Or what's uh, the driving force of the situation? And you have the death in the reverse. So the death in the reverse is kind of like this resistance to change, which is um, very much like you don't want the whole situation to just be something completely different or um, or it's kind of like you, you cling to things being a certain way. And then if anything changes, it's almost as if you feel like that's that's horrible and unacceptable, that things need to be. Um, or have a certain steadiness about them. Um, and with this being in the foundation card, this, this is a lesson that change is constant and gradual. So it's to kind of like teach you not to be so shocked by change uh, when things happen, but to kind of recognize how things do uh, stay the same because they're constantly changing. And so small adaptations to and sort of a going with the flow is what's required. It's not as though everything is changed all at once and you have to change everything all at once. Um, That's sort of like a harsh way to approach reality that's not necessary. It's kind of like beating your head against the wall for no reason. The idea here is more to kind of, you know, go with the flow and, and realize when the landscape is changing and sort of to adapt in a harmonious and smooth way, right? So the uh, crowning thoughts here, this is the Four of Wands, uh, but it's in the reverse. So the Four of Wands is, uh, it's about like a happy home, about having this the sense of... Uh, completion and and everything is going well in the home this is what's on your mind and the crowning thoughts so in the reverse it's like you're you're not quite uh achieving this and because it's there there is the potential for it to to exist there's a potential for you to feel this happy home but something's sort of blocking it and that's what's on your mind is that things are not quite going the way that you want them to um and uh, you know, with the with the four, I have my own sort of personal interpretation of this card. Um, I don't know if anybody else has ever put it this way, um, so don't don't tell me I've plagiarized if you find it somewhere else. But 
the way that I always think about this is the four wands represent the sort of four types of action that go into a successful happy home. And uh, the way that I would list those, first of all, you have action that goes into the home itself. So this is, you know, maintenance and upkeep, uh, doing your dishes, the laundry, all these things, uh, renovations and, and making the space yours. Those things can be very pleasant, um, not just sort of drudgery, but they can be very fun to do, to decorate your house, you know, all these things. That's putting energy into your house. Um, you also have to put energy outside your house or away from your house. So there has to be things like uh, you have to go out and work at a job to sustain you know, money for your taxes and, and things like that. Um, or to go out to the grocery store and expend energy to fill your house with food. Or uh, maybe you, you reject those sort of more society standards. You still have to go out and work your garden right? You still have to go out there outside the four walls of your house to, to uh, put energy into something that's going to come back to your house and make it more full. Then um, a third type of energy, which is very often overlooked, is rest. There, your, your home has to be a place that is for rest and recharging and uh, comfort, right? So this is, you're not maintaining your house. You're not doing anything to make your house better. You're just simply enjoying your house. You're being in your house. And that's a very important part of it. But then the fourth type uh, is that your house needs to be a sort of foundation or a jumping off point for accomplishing something, uh, doing something in the world. So uh, being is you know, very, very underestimated and overlooked in uh, this uh, world that we live in. And people are more concerned with productivity and all that kind of thing. The idea here is all of these things should be existing in a balance. And so, um, you know, figure out exactly what part of that equation has been thrown out of balance here and try to just bring bring a little more attention to that. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to pour a lot more money into it because uh, finances may not be working out exactly as they normally would here, but you do need to find a way to put a little more attention into that uh, space. So, you know, if you don't have more money, you may have some more time or you may have uh, thought or concern, some surplus that you can take from some part of your life, some aspect, and sort of balance the other aspects. Now, your current situation, or I'm sorry, not your situation, but your advice is this Eight of Swords. Uh, this Eight of Swords represents that you may be having some issues here that are really kind of um, more in your head than anything else. It's, it's If you step back from it and don't quite look at it as so much of a problem, it's okay. Um, but having a need for things to be a certain kind of way or feeling trapped uh, by the circumstances can make this feel a lot worse than it really is. So advice card is to sort of, you know, step back, um, uh, take some time to ponder the situation in a, as objective of a way as possible. Ask yourself, is this thing that's bothering you really a big issue or is it something that you've kind of blown up a little bit, blown out of proportion? Now, the uh, environment card here is this Ten of Coins in the reverse. So uh, this kind of falls in line with what's going on here. The, the Ten of Coins is typically a lot of financial abundance and success and uh, everything going well. So here in the reverse, this is you know a lack of that. There, this is not money's not going around like it used to. People aren't feeling as uh, abundant and successful as they used to. So all around you, you're kind of feeling this, um, this scarcity or that uh, people are struggling, right? And so it, it, it makes me feel strongly as though, you know, in this king of coins here, this financial situation being a little bit out of balance, it's not really your fault. There's probably some external circumstances that are leading you to feel this way. And so uh, maybe take a look around you and see how a lot of people are in this situation. It's not anything that you've done wrong. Um, there's external circumstances at work here, and uh, you can take a little bit of comfort in that 
if nothing else and and just recognize that you had a good thing going you had a good direction you can applaud yourself for that don't beat yourself up because things are not quite working out the right way right now just be a little bit patient with it and uh, recognize that you know if you're a person who methodically or uh, stead has a steadfast way of paying your bills where you never pay a bill late and this month you're having to pay a bill late, well, take a step back and realize it's not so much a reflection of you, it's more of the circumstances of what's going on, and people will are inclined at this time to be a little bit more forgiving um, if it's something that is bothering you. Um, if, they, if people are not being forgiving, um, reach out because there are a ton of resources available to you right now um, which are not normally there, but in this cir current circumstance, you may have some recourse if somebody's not being willing to work with you. Um, now, the Fears card here is the Three of Wands in the reverse. So this would uh, indicate that you're afraid of like kind of not moving forward of having all these things that you want to accomplish, that you want to do, but not really getting any of them done. And uh, very valid fear, very very good fear. Um, you know, a lot of times I see some unjustified things pop up in this fears card, and I have to kind of reassure people. And um, uh, while I will reassure you about this, this is totally, you know, a wonderful thing to have in your fears card because you're, you don't want life to just pass you by. You want to get things, you want to get some things accomplished. You want to get some things done. Um, the only warning I would give you about that is to not hang your happiness completely on all of these accomplishments because in any person's life, there's a limit to the amount of things that you're going to be able to do. So you have to learn how to be happy with what you are able to be, to accomplish and to be grateful for the time that you're given. Um, now for your advice card uh, or your overall message. This is, uh, sorry, I keep... <laughs> getting out of order here. The overall message card here is this two of coins. Um, two of coins is all about balancing that work-life uh, energy. So not to be too caught up in um, the financial situation that you forget how to enjoy yourself and just live life, that kind of thing. And it's a little bit more of a, a reminder to just Recognize that whatever you're stressing about here is not the complete picture. There's also the other aspect of, of life, what has to go on. And so uh, paradoxically, if you kind of feel like one of these coins is uh, the source of your energy for the other coin, you may kind of focus too fully on that one side of your life. If you feel like, well, my job you know, sustains my lifestyle, so I've got to focus more on that um, instead of, you know, living and working and playing. Well, it's a trap because very, very quickly you find that it's also the other way around, that, that playing that is, is what really sustains your ability to work. Um, it's the other way around. It's like people work to live and live to work, but in reality, both of the things are two sides of the same coin. Uh, there has to be a balance of both of those things to, to live healthily. You can't just simply focus on one and discount the other. So this is a reminder to bring that life back into balance in whatever way you can and look for ways that are not financial. Bring your head out of the financial realm a little bit here and look into war more uh, what you can do um, with, with just you know, changing your outlook a little bit instead of thinking about it from a, a money is everything and money is the resource that's important. Look at it from what other things do you have that you can do. You know, do what you can with what you have. And that's about it for this reading. Um, please, again, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And I would be happy to draw some additional cards for clarification to anyone who has subscribed to the channel. And I will see you guys again soon. Uh, please check out my daily readings for more specific information. And then I'll see you again next month for your general reading. Thank you.